hey guys welcome back to coffee girls so for today's vlog i thought i would just sit down and do a quick little chat with you guys so let me set the camera down let's see hey it's been probably a week since i saw you last and oh man i'm just trying to get situated into college and um you know when you go from one season to the next season there's just a lot of transition that happens and um yeah so it's been busy it's been crazy it's been really good though and i am just so thankful to god for this new season of being at college if you guys don't know me i'm ashley i go to moody bible institute i'm a biblical studies major so i'm studying all about the bible and I love it so much. But I'm just gonna be chit chatting with you guys today about coping and dealing with stress, especially in the midst of a crazy season, in the midst of a busy life, in the midst of homework, schoolwork, job, juggling all these things. And um, I guess I just wanted to come and chit chat with you guys because that's kind of the season of life I am currently in right now is um, just a season of learning how to deal with stress and learning how to handle it in positive and good ways rather than dealing with stress in negative ways, in destructive ways, in ways that hurt yourself or your body or even other people. So yeah. So let me just start with a little story, um, honest, honestly, an honest story. So when I first came to college, I didn't realize the stress I was going to be getting myself into. And a lot of the stress is stress I put on myself because I am a perfectionist. I am a one on the Enneagram. I am very, everything I do, I want to do to my, to the best of my ability. And especially schoolwork, I want, I literally want to do it to my best. And I think that's a good quality to have, but it's also a bad quality because um, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be perfect and it's unnecessary pressure. Anyways, so there's stress from college. I had stress my first three semesters from that, from just wanting to be friends with everybody and having FOMO. And so doing everything, never saying no, I put so much stress on myself by just never saying no. And so that was something, not to mention, I'm running a business, I'm running a ministry with my sister and my mom, which is a lot of work to keep up with. And um, on top of that, just doing discipleship and church and serving and all these things. And my life was just stressed and I didn't take care of myself and I didn't know how to handle stress well. So those first three semesters, or was it more than three? I think it was like three semesters the first three semesters of school i just did not know how to handle stress well then i went and saw a counselor which she helped me so much manage my stress um i know that we actually are affiliated with a group called i think it's like christian counseling and it's like all online via zoom or phone call so if you guys need like a counselor or anything like that or you want to look into one i'll have that link down below um but i just saw a counselor here in the city and she gave me a lot of tools on how to cope with stress and one of the signs that i'm really stressed and i'm not handling well is i will start to eat too much food so for me that's how i handle stress is i start to binge eat and or i'll just go crazy on peanut butter or i'll go crazy on chocolate or whatever the food is in the cabinet that is high calorically dense, I will go after. And so my first three semesters were really rough with that. So I just, I felt like I failed almost those three semesters starting getting into school and just being really stressed. I got into this bad habit, this bad cycle of dealing with my stress with food and just eating and just not dealing with stress well and kind of just getting into a bad downward cycle with food. And so you might be the same way dealing with your stress with food or maybe you do something else. Maybe you binge watch Netflix. Maybe you go on social media for hours. Maybe you avoid doing things and you do something else instead of what you should be doing. Or um, 
I have no idea how how you might handle stress. Maybe it's porn. Maybe it's I don't know um, relationships, toxic relationships. I have no idea, but you know what it is usually that you turn to when you're stressed. And so, anyways, my first three semesters, I felt like I really had failed in the area of how to take care of myself, how to handle the stress. This semester coming to college, I was like, okay, this year is gonna be different because I have a lot of tools in my tool belt now from counseling. And this, the time during quarantine, I was re really able to fully heal and just overcome binge eating and really just start to thrive again because I was taking care of myself. And so coming back to college, I was like, okay, I, this is my year, I'm going to overcome this. And so the first week of school went great. And it was starting into the second week of school that I noticed that the stress was getting to me. And I started to notice that I was slipping. I wasn't falling, but I was slipping and I was tripping. And I noticed that, okay, I'm starting to slip, I'm starting to drip. And I started noticing I was going for certain foods and I was overeating them and I wasn't, I just wasn't handling stress well. And so, um, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't perfect that week. I didn't fully fall, but I wasn't perfectly walking perfect. And that's okay, we're human beings. God gives us so much grace. He loves us so much. But I, I noticed, I was like, okay, I wanna overcome with the Lord this time around. I do not wanna make the same mistakes I made in the past. I do not want to um, fall. And I was so scared that week, like just a week ago, that I was going to mess up and fall and just get stuck again and get into this horrible deathly cycle again and 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 lose all the progress I made over quarantine and so I was just really scared about that I was stressing I was yes okay but how I overcame and the question is how did I overcome that week was probably the hardest week because it was like I really felt tempted in that week by Satan and I could have easily fallen back into that cycle and gotten stuck in it, but the Lord got me through. And here is how I was able to get through that, to get through that stress, prayer. Prayer was number one, constantly turning to the Lord in the morning, asking my friends to pray for me. That's the second thing, is going to your friends and confessing and just saying, hey, I really struggle with this. I need your help. I need you to give me advice. I need you to pray for me. I need you to be there for me. I went to my mom. I told her, I said, please, please be praying for me. I'm under the attack of the enemy. I need you to help me. And so it needs to be prayer. It needs to be reaching out to the Lord for help. Second, it needs to be reaching out to others for help. It is in our pride that we don't reach out to other people for help. It is it is our prideful, sinful nature saying, I don't need help. I don't need to tell anyone what I'm going through. I can figure this out on my own. Please listen to me right now. Don't figure it out on your own. Go seek help now. Whether that's a friend, whether that's a parent, whether that's a mentor, whether that's a counselor. Seek help. Whether it's a pastor. I don't know. Um, so I did that. And then third... I just tried to stick to a plan. I wrote out my schedule for sc for college. I wrote out the times I would take care of myself. I wrote out what my meal plans were gonna be, what I was gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, how I was still gonna treat myself, and how I was still gonna take care of my body during this time and handle the stress in positive ways. Um, so prayer, asking for help, journaling, and praying, writing out a schedule, um, making sure I have time for myself within my schedule and really making sure that my foundation is in Christ during those self times. So like during those times I'm taking care of myself, it's rooted in the Lord. It's me doing it through Christ, resting through Christ. And so, I mean, those were the biggest ways. And just honestly, I would say the fifth, I think that was four, but the fifth thing is scripture. In literally turning to scripture and remembering what God says. Blessed are those who overcome. 
for they will receive the crown of life. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. And so that I, I rooted myself in scripture. But I'm telling you, you guys, it was the attack of the enemy trying to get me down at the beginning of the semester, getting me back into that deathly cycle. And I said, not today, Satan. The Lord has prepared a way out for me. He has handcrafted a way for me to get out of temptation. And thank you, Lord. And I praise God that he helped me out of that temptation. Um, the stressfulness of life can be overcome with Jesus and I want to encourage you to take those points into consideration and to try them especially if you feel you're in a stressful situation take care of yourself root yourself in Christ root yourself in prayer and turn to the Lord I am not saying that these are perfect five steps to heal yourself from stress or to um, make everything better because it's not my life still has stress in it, but it's how I deal with it. It's not that the stress has gone away or that my to-do list has gone away or that my busy schedule has gone away. It's none of those things. It's that I'm learning how to deal with stress, trying to stay rooted in Christ and trying to overcome with the Lord. So I think that's what it's about. It's about fixing your eyes on Jesus and asking him to help help you get through because he will help you he loves you he wants you to be walking in freedom he really does like he wants you to seek him and live he wants you to have life so that's the video today just a quick chit chat because my life has been crazy i hope it encouraged you i hope it was something that you enjoyed if you did enjoy make sure you share this video with a friend i'm not gonna cut anything out of this video because I'm busy and I want it to be very real. So yeah, I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.